Hi everyone, we're back here in the Skills Centre. Today we're going to be looking at some airbrushing equipment and, and more importantly our range from Spraycraft. Now Spraycraft do several types of airbrush but today we're going to be looking at the SP50K. So let's have a look and see what we get in the box. So here, so straight open, um, the box contains the instructions firstly. We've got our airbrush and this one's a dual action airbrush which I'll explain um, the uses of in a moment. We've got our propellant, we've got our regulator here, we've got the air delivery tube, storage jar, delivery jar um, and your small spanner for undoing the nibs as well as your um, airbrush cleaner. So let's set it up and see what happens when we, when we start airbrushing. Okay, so here we are, here's the airbrush all connected up. Now, to do that, all I've done is connected the, the regulator, screwed that onto the uh, propellant, then the regulator in turn to the airline, and the airline to the airbrush. I've already filled my delivery jar up with blue paint, so now we're ready to airbrush. So for the purpose of this video, I'm not wearing any dust protection whatsoever, but it's really important, especially if you're doing a lot of airbrushing, that you, that you airbrush in a well-ventilated and extracted area, and, but also you protect yourself directly with a vapour mask. Now, the SP50 is a, a, a suction feed, dual action airbrush. And all that means for us is the ink comes from underneath instead of gravity fed, which is coming from the top. The dual action bit means you press down for air and you pull back for ink. So air flow, and then if I pull back, there's the ink. Okay, we're gonna do a couple of simple exercises here. We're just gonna create a small sphere and then we'll put some shadowing underneath. Now this is a, a template that's uh, pre-made, but you can cut your own templates quite easily. We're gonna put a little bit of ink around the bottom right-hand corner here. Our light source is gonna be coming from the top left. So there we are, that's the first stage. Now if we add a little bit of shadowing at the bottom of that sphere, I take the template away, a little bit of shadowing, remember where the, ice, the uh, light source is coming from and there's your sphere. Now they're fairly broad strokes, if you want to go down for smaller detail they're nice and close, very gentle with your, with your amount of uh, ink that you're pulling back on, but there we are, that's how small you can get with the airbrush, so for your fine detail work, it's perfect. Back out again for broader strokes and for infilling, and it's as simple as that. So there you have it, the SP50, straight out the box and ready to airbrush.